physiology of digestion food cockroaches feeding on any kind of animal vegetable matter including wood book bindings cloth leather paper paste glues hairs and even its own cast cuticle it usually feeds at night they identified as omnivores food is searched by the sweeping antenna assessed by maxillary and labial pulp and detained by the four legs labrum and labium during eating mandibles undergo a sideway movement brought about by the action of the adductor and abductor muscle and masticate the food into smaller and fine particles digestion in the salivarium of mouth cavity crushed food mixed with salivary secretion saliva lubricate food while its digestive enzyme zymes hydrolyzes the starchy matter of food lubricate food is then pushed into pharynx through mouth with the help of labium food now start to moving through alimentary canal by peristalsis most of digestion occur in crop by saliva and digestive secretion of hepatic cecae and midgut upon entering proventriculus food is subjected to further mastication by internal denticles worked upon by longitudinal and annular muscles hair on pulvilli act as a filter allowing only finer particle to move ahead in midgut partly digested food is mixed with enzymatic secretion of epithelial secretory cells of enteric cecia and midgut itself these secretion contain a trypsin like enzyme and peptidase digest protein amylase that completes and digestion starch lipase digest fat a thin transparent cutaneous peritrophic membrane lines the midgut internally in the form of a tube this membrane is secreted by the stomatal valve of gizzard it protects the delicate lining of midgut from scratch by the hard in digestible component of food it is however permeable to enzymes as well as digested food absorption epithelial cells of enteric cecia and midgut are also absorptive they absorb digested food which is stored in the diffused fat bodies generally large quantities of fat are absorbed by the epithelial cells of crop 